hello friends this is durga from it university in this video i will try to cover how we can actually migrate the uh, existing uh, hadoop installation um, on uh, uh, on the vm from one location to another location earlier i have set up uh, everything under root which is not a very good practice uh, but to simulate uh, uh, the cloud era approach i will move uh, everything that is set up so far into a different location so the process is first you need to stop everything um, that is running and then you, you have to copy to the location where you want and then you have to change the environment variables uh, so that um, uh, the root can access the new installation path so let's do that first you have to stop everything so you can run jps to see what all is running as yeah, of now uh, hadoop as well as hbase are running on this so i will stop hbase first now hbase is stopped and then we will stop um, yarn or you can also run stop all.sh but to stop all.sh is uh, decommissioned so it is better to stop one at a time so i am stopping yarn now and then i will stop his dfs as well sorry stop dfs dot sh and after running the uh, stop commands it is very important for us to run jps to see if there are any background process still running sometimes what happens is even though stop returns without any errors uh, the background processes that are associated with this might not be cleaned up or killed. So run JPS, there is nothing. So now what we will do, we will create a directory called software under the root which is represented by slash. So I am creating a directory called software there. And then uh, uh, if you have any gz files, you can delete by just running rm-rf star gz so that uh, uh, you don't need, uh, you don't copy unnecessary stuff to the new location. So if you have anything, just run this one. And uh, also earlier uh, we have uh, uh, downloaded the Hadoop source code and compiled for the native libraries. So you can also run rm-rf hadoop minus 2.7.1 minus src and hit enter and make sure you have rest of the stuff by running ls-ltr command and now you can actually do cp-rf we are trying to copy everything from here to slash software and hit enter it is approximately 1.6 gb and uh, Sorry, let me do this. RM minus RF software slash star. Yeah, we will do CP only. First, we will make sure that everything is running properly and then we can delete this. Now you can go to CD uh, slash software and LS minus LTR. Everything is copied here. Now we will go to our home directory. Here you have to update the bash profile okay so if you see hadoop form is represented by slash root slash hadoop now it is software hadoop okay similarly here also wherever you see slash root slash hadoop just remove root from there and replace with software even this one even this one even this one because all the softwares which we want are currently copied to software and we will try to use those things and save it and then run the profile Okay, and validate that it is pointing to the right location 
by running which Hadoop you can see uh, now it is pointing to slash software Hadoop bin uh, Hadoop this will be the case only after uh, running the bash profile like this if you don't run the bash profile like this even after making the modifications it will be pointing to the old location which is uh, the home directory of root okay now what you can do is you can run uh, start all.sh which will start the dfs as well as yarn and you can see that everything is going into the software directories it is using everything uh, from software not the earlier location which is slash uh, root which is the home directory for root you can run jps to confirm everything is running properly and also you can run hadoop fs minus ls and slash user slash root to make sure that you are able to access the files without any issues and now you can also do start hbase.sh and uh, you can also go to hbase shell hit enter you can list the tables scan demo tables to confirm that you can read the data so everything works fine exit also you can run jps to list all the process that are running region server and uh, hmaster column trees all of these are related to hbase and data node name node node manager resource manager are related to hdfs and yarn now everything is copied there and everything is working as expected now you can actually remove everything from here okay after removing also make sure that you can stop everything and start everything stop all dot sh and also if you see um, that data node is running on localhost which is not a good sign uh, we need to change it to uh, the actual IP address or alias like this we will see that also how to modify that now you can run JPS to make sure that everything is down uh, and then LSLTR nothing is here go to software slash Hadoop now this is our Hadoop home directory and if you go to etc Hadoop there is a file called slaves and in that the IP address is represented localhost we have to change it to hadoop271.itversity.com which is alias for our um, VM save it and also make sure that there is no other file which is uh, using localhost internally by running this command uh, Hadoop metrics we don't care much about this so you can ignore even this one you can ignore but you should not have anything referring localhost as part of your uh, core site HDFS site um, mapped site or the answer.xml files these two are not that important so we can ignore it and now let us start everything again start all.sh which will try to start name node data node see now instead of localhost it's pointing to our ip address now yarn is coming up run jps to make sure that all the processes are running and then hadoop fs minus ls user root to confirm that we can access hdfs without any issues and now we, we will start hbase as well
run JPS. Everything looks good. HBase shell. Hit enter. Run list to list the tables in HBase and scan to make sure that you can read the data without any issues. And also finally we will do put to make sure that we can also insert the data. 3 column family cf1 column name column 1 and value testing hit enter and then scan demo you can see the new record here so everything looks good now uh, we have migrated successfully from uh, home root home directory to software and we have started all the process now what we'll do is we'll create a new user uh, to simulate the Cloudera VM, we will try to create a user called Cloudera itself. So, in this case, uh, to create a new user, you can run user at command Cloudera, and then you can do sudo su Cloudera. Uh, uh, let's run password command to change the password for Cloudera. I am giving Cloudera itself as password. Now I can say SSH Cloudera. SSH Cloudera at localhost. Cloudera. Now we logged in as Cloudera in the VM. And there is nothing here. If you run Hadoop command here, it will not work. We have to set the environment uh, variables such that uh, Cloudera can access uh, the Hadoop that is installed under slash software directory. And if you exit, it will go back to the root. And uh, if you do ls minus ltr slash and look at the software, the directory is owned by root. So the entire Hadoop installation is owned by root. What we have to do is we have to update the environment variables in such a way that. Uh, Cloudera can access all the binaries here uh, and for that what you can do is you can just run cd and go to the home directory of root and then cp bash profile so profile have all the environment variables we can copy it to Cloudera yes uh, when we copy as root the owner for this bash profile will be root even for Cloudera, the new file that will be created under Cloudera. You can run ls minus ltr on that path home Cloudera dot bash profile. Okay, it is actually owner is Cloudera, Cloudera only. So we don't need to change the ownership. If the owner is root, here you have to change uh, the ownership to Cloudera by using ch1 command. Now let us do ssh. Cloudera at localhost. Cloudera is the password. ls minus ltr and run Hadoop. Now you can see it can access Hadoop. And now you can actually do Hadoop fs minus ls user root because that's the only directory we have in HDFS. So you can say Hadoop fs minus ls uh, user root. And as a Cloudera, you can only read uh, the files from uh, this location. You cannot write because you don't have uh, any other user than root does not have write permissions to this location. So you can only read by running Hadoop FS minus LS or cat commands and you cannot actually copy new files into HDFS to this location. For that we need to create a user space for Cloudera which we will do in a moment. But let us validate that we can access the files under user root. And then we can also say Hadoop FS. Sorry, we will also launch HBase using HBase shell to validate that we can log into HBase also. And then type list to list the tables. You can see the tables. You can also do scan on one of the tables. You can see the data as well. So HBase is also accessible from user Cloudera. 
now finally we will create a user space for this we have to exit from cloudera and because the root is the owner of everything you have to be logging in as root and as root you can run certain commands to create a user space for cloudera in uh, in uh, in hdfs on our vm so you can say hadoop fs minus mkdar slash user to create a user space you have to create a directory with the same name as the user for which you are trying to create the user space so here i can say cloud error hit enter now i can say hadoop fs minus ls slash user you have the cloud error also but the owner is root we need to change that to cloud error and then for, uh, for that we have to run the command ch1 cloud era super group user cloud era and hit enter now cloud era can actually copy files to this location which uh, which is called as cloud era user space under user cloud era and now you can actually do ssh cloud era at local host uh, or you can also do sudo minus su cloud error to log in as cloud error and then you can say hadoop ss minus ls and hit enter ok because we ran a sudo minus su the prof bash profile did not run for that reason we have to run ssh only Okay, and uh, you can now run Hadoop. It is working fine. So now what we have to do? We can run Hadoop fs minus ls command slash user slash cloud error. There is nothing here in that location, so it's it, it returned nothing. We can create a file touch testing, and then you can run Hadoop fs minus put testing user cloud error. So that file with name testing will be copied to user cloud error. This touch command will create an empty file in that uh, home location and hit enter. And now you can say Hadoop fs minus ls user cloud error. Okay, now you can see the file testing which is copied to this location. We can also delete it to just keep it clean user cloud error testing and now we have a user space for cloud error and we can simulate whatever exercises we are trying to we are doing uh, we will be doing on cloud error on this vm also after adding uh, other tools like scoop hive spark etc which i will be covering as part of future videos that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you um, are not subscribed, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.